today we're going to be talking about the future of the dollar. Pretty much everything you need to know so that you're prepared for what's coming up next. Speaking of which, I'm coming up next. You're going to get out of the past, brother. We've got to start thinking about the future, man. This, it's a big, bright world all ahead of us, man, and you're just stuck in the past. We've got to get, we gotta get ourselves into the future. What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome back. Mmm, 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 mmm. Some, that's some tasty coffee that you made there, Lambo. Yeah, Lambo made the coffee today, right? What a great guy, huh? What a great horse, huh? All right. Well, today we're going to be talking about the future of the dollar. Now, I'm sure you guys are fully aware, you know, because we talk about this here all the time, that the dollar doesn't have too much time left. Don't let the dollar know, okay? But it's almost done but the reality is is like how long how long do we have on this dollar now you guys have heard me talk on this channel before about you know this subject a few times before many times before in fact the last time we were talking about you know uh, what's gonna happen at the end of the year what's kind of happening right now and so on and so forth again that we're gonna see an economic downturn and crash at the end of this year and, uh, and all that stuff. But I feel like a lot of you guys out there didn't really, you know, it wasn't, my, it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. I really didn't let uh, explain myself too, you know, correctly. At the end, what's going to be happening at the end of this year is uh, we're going to be seeing a crash, a little economic downturn, a uh, correction. But it's not going to change anything. The dollar's still going to be around. The dollar's not going anywhere. In fact, you know, as recently as yesterday, um, the Fed chairman, um, a bunch, uh, you know, along the lines with a bunch of other people, they literally announced, hey, we're going to do whatever it takes to keep this thing afloat. We're going to do whatever we got to do to keep printing into oblivion. Now, what's going to, what does that necessarily mean? It means exactly what it means. It means that they're not going to let the dollar fail. No matter what the hell happens on the world stage, whether you know, China sells all this bonds and treasuries, whether, you know, everyone starts getting rid of their dollars, um, whether the economy falls um, all over the world and uh, there's credit freezes and there's all kinds of economic turmoil, the dollar's not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna keep the dollar afloat as long as humanly possible. Now, you guys already know that the only way that they can keep the dollar afloat, no matter what happens, is by them printing it into oblivion, printing it out of existence, literally. And that's what's gonna happen. So sure, um, but this time, about, about this time next year, so around this time in 2020, we would already be, you know, full blown into the economic downturn, okay? And we will probably be full blast into the recovery. And why is that? Well, you know, just like Gregory Manorino was reminding us uh, the other day, Mr. Trump's, this is Mr. Trump's economy. Mr. Trump out there is literally saying, and, and has been touting this uh, economy and this uh, stock market, although, you know, literally since he got president. It's like, oh, look at this strong economy. Look at this strong, uh, um, uh, yeah, sorry, just making sure the lighting isn't too dark. I should stop paying attention to this. You know, I'm always distracted by something, whether I'm walking and talking, but anyways, to get back on topic. So, you know, Mr. Trump was literally saying the fact that, you know, um, you know, oh, the, the, this, uh, the, the stock market it keeps going up up and up because we're winning and we're I'm, I'm you know fixing unemployment and fixing the factories and doing and fixing the economy and blah 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 but really he ain't doing jack shit you know we've talked about it many times and there's a lot of other channels that talk about it as well they have plenty of proof you know to to the just you know literally to the other uh saying otherwise literally saying otherwise that you know he's not doing anything at all in fact we're just getting buried deeper and deeper in debt and people are getting, you know, poorer and poorer each day. So not only is a country getting more in debt every day, but so are you, the individual out there. It's just getting worse and worse every day. And that's why you hear things like, you know, universal basic income. You know, you're seeing people like Bernie Sanders saying, hey, you know, we need socialism, uh, communism, whatever, um, and so on and so forth. And, you know, even Mr. Trump, you know, what does he say he's going to keep doing? He's going to keep printing and printing and printing into oblivion because, hey, why not? We can't. And again, you know, the people behind uh, the Fed and the people behind, you know, the money printers, you know, they themselves have come out as recently as a few months ago and said, you know, said literally, the dollar is not going to fail because we can print and print and print and print. And no other country can do that. 
So, now, what is the faith and I mean, what is the, the future of the dollar? <clears throat> well, it's not going to be very pretty. The longer we keep this going, the worse it's going to end up being. All right. Now, Trump isn't going to have this thing, and you know, isn't going to have this economy crash on his dime because if the economy really, sorry, a little, little noise. If the economy really does crash in 2019, at the end of 2019, like really crash, then he's not going to be president, and we're going to be in a different, completely different scenario situation um, by the time that the 2020 elections come around. Okay, and most likely we'll have Bernie Sanders. That's my, you know, my two cents on that. But what I really do think is going to happen is that, yeah, we're going to be seeing, you know, we're, we are already seeing a crash, a downturn. We're already seeing the yield curve inversion, like really invert. We're already seeing a lot of these fucking things starting to play out. And uh, it's not benefiting you at all, you know, at all, period. You know, you guys are losing out there for the most part. Not everybody, you know, there's plenty of people out here, you know, like me and you guys, you know, we're, you know, financially uh, preparing ourselves, but for the most part, you know, the, the average Joe is going to get slammed really hard against the wall. And, uh, you know, as soon as uh, this economic uh, downturn starts happening at the end of this year, they already just said, you know, um, many, many, many people, you know, whether it's the Fed, you know, the, the chair of uh, the econ economy, you know, uh, President Trump, you name it, any, all these guys and everyone in, be everyone in between, everyone from Janet Yellen, you know, coming out of retirement, you name it, everyone's coming out and uh, touting that the economy is going to be fine. Um, we've already been in, uh, talking about this many times in this channel that they've already been announcing that, you know, QE and that they're going to keep printing and pumping cash and money into the system until they can so what's going to happen well we're going to continue seeing hyperinflation you know we're going to just continue seeing the pumping of money into the system and uh pretending giving you the idea the perception that the economy is doing great and wonderful but it's not and um eventually what's going to end up happening is that you know it's going to start beginning the the domino uh, effect you know the domino falling of uh, all these countries and economies falling all around the world Sure, we're seeing banks fail, like whether they're in China or even Deutsche Bank getting close to fail, which is going to get bailed out, and other banks around the world, you know, failing. Um, but, you know, I, I really do think, I, I don't know, I don't think that it's going to be like a, a worldwide catastrophe just yet. I mean, again, I don't know. But regardless, it's going to get pumped out of existence with the dollar, okay? And uh, I think what we're really going to be seeing is just it's going to be the beginning of the death of the dollar like the real you know death you know and again we've already been seeing the we talked about it a couple episodes ago we talked about the petrol dollar we talked about the death you know of the dollar and uh that it's right around the corner and so on and so forth but we got to remember that every other country around the world has to fail first they got to also get rid of the dollar and um, the whole thing has to you know come to a head into a cycle and then once every single country has fallen and failed then it's our turn then the dollar fails and then that's when you know um we're off to the races for real but it's going to be a while because even if the dominoes you know which they're falling but even though uh you know even if the dominoes of all these other countries around the world start falling um right now it's going to be a while it's going to be several years and i think that at the end of the day, um, we might not see a real economic downturn until 2020. So, again, the elections are in November of 2020. Trump is going to get reelected, and then maybe by December or January or around that, around December 2020, January 2021, February 2021, so on and so forth. That's when we're really, really, really going to see the whole thing start really falling apart and, and tanking and uh, and the death the death death of the dollar but again it's going to be a gradual process and it's going to again happen all around the world every single country has to you know um eliminate the dollar and eliminate you know um their debt and uh, and go through these motions and uh, it's going to be a while but it's it's already like happening now what is going to replace the dollar once it falls well, we really don't know. I think it's going to all really depend on many, many factors. But I really do think that we are going to be moving into a gold and silver standard. And then and then each currency around the world is going to derive their monetary value from gold and silver price. All right. And it's going to be like, you know, gold is going to be set. All right. And then everything else is going to be set under that. And again, you know, even silver, you know, silver right now is at a 90 to 1 ratio, meaning that you know, for each gold ounce coin, you can get 90 silver coins. All right, that's a lot. 
okay? Now, the ratio has been higher in other points in history, but 90 is really fucking high. You know, 90 silver coins per gold ounce. It's not supposed to be that high. It's actually supposed to be a lot tighter. I think it's going to be, like, I think it's supposed to be like 1 to 35 or 1 to 40. I don't know. I have no idea. Or one, even less. Maybe even less, less, less than that. But that's just to give you an idea. And, uh, and remember, you know, um, another thing too is that we don't know how far this is going to fall. You know, the dollar, you know, once a dollar falls, you know, it's like the Dow, that the, the Dow has to correct every single asset across the board, whether it's oil or gold and silver or, um, you know, uh, iron or um, it, it doesn't really matter, Uber stock. All these things have to co co correct the fair value. And who knows what fair value is? You know, um, fair value most likely will be a, a Dow of 1,000 or a Dow of 3,000 or a Dow of 5,000. And right now we're like at 25,000. And if um, if the thing keeps um, getting bailed out, you know, again, QE or, you know, again, you know, you know, the pumping of money, all these things are the same thing. All three of those things are the same thing. But, you know, when this does happen, you know, at the end of this year and it continues to happen, it's going to continually pump that Dow up. Okay, now of course there's other measures to the economy, but you know, that's just like the one kind of round thing that we can all look at. But as the Dow gets higher, as we get, as we start blowing past 28K, 30K, 30 some K, um, you know, on the Dow, again, as we're, you know, by the time we correct all the way down to fair value, even if it's just 3,000 K, $3,000, it's going to be a major fall. The, the, the more we let this keep going, the worse it's going to be. The harder the fall. Okay? And again, you know, as other countries are going through hyperinflation and they're going through their motions right now, they are already setting themselves up. Meaning, so any country right now that is going through hyperinflation or economic, uh, you know, downturn or, you know, whatever, you know, they are already experiencing, you know, what we are going to eventually experience. So whatever country is, is uh, experiencing it right now or about to experience it or, or just finished finish experiencing this whole hyperinflation thing, you know, they're, again, on their way out. That's like they're on their way uh, done. So it's all a cycle. So if all of a sudden, you know, um, as Venezuela comes out of this cycle, um, you know, they're, they're going to just restart the cycle, just like Argentina, just like um, possibly Turkey, possibly China, and so on and so forth, you know. Um, or they're going to continue pumping things into existence. You know, so for example, China might continue pumping and pumping and not letting this thing correct to fair value. Other countries, you know, are not going to have a choice but to let things correct to fair value. But at the end of the day, you know, once you go through that cycle, you're pretty much set. And if you're set by the time that the whole dollar falls, then your country is going to be one of the ones that are going to, you know, come out winning. So Mexico could be one of those countries as well. It all just depends on many factors. But, you know, again, if we're correcting the fair value and we're giving, uh, you know, value to things like, you know, gold and silver, then, you know, most likely a country like Venezuela, like Mexico, uh, China, and uh, Russia, you know, they're just going to be obvious winners. And it might, it might also be the U.S., but the thing is that the U.S.'s infrastructure and uh, the U.S.'s, uh, you know, industrial zone and all that shit has, you know, literally fallen in the, in the toilet. So that's why we're not going to fare off too well. If, if our, you know, industrial sector, if our actual, you know, um, you know, commodity sector, if all, if all our, you know, real sectors of uh, production, you know, we're actually, you know, running full force, then we would be okay, but we're not. You know, all we, all we really produce in this country right now is debt. All right, so... Yeah, so the dollar is not gonna end, the whole death of the dollar is, is not gonna be well, but you know, again, you clicked on this video so to un understand where the future of the dollar is gonna go. And um, again, the future of the dollar is uh, not a very bright one. Again, at the end of the day, it's uh, we're at the death of the dollar and we're gonna just see how this new sh paradigm shift, you know, uh, changes to the point where we might not even have fiat currency anymore and we might have a brand new um a brand new uh monetary paradigm a brand new financial system and uh we're gonna go and we're gonna see what happens there i mean i think it's a a very bright future and in a very exciting time to be alive but you know again right now the dollar's not gonna fall any day, any day. The dollar's not gonna fall anytime soon. It's gonna be a very long time before the dollar falls, but we are already beginning that. Now, and when I mean a very long time, I just mean several years, okay? But that is a very long time to some people, but to old farts, you know, to, to some people like you and me, you know, a few years is a few, it's, it's like that, a few years disappears. But that's really more the case as to where all this goes. Now, again, the, the huge indicator is gonna come at the end of this year, and we're gonna find out you know how 
you know, we take this hit and how we recover from the hit, uh, how the dollar recovers from the hit, and that's really gonna dictate, you know, how much life the dollar still has remaining in it. Okay, but at the end of the day, yeah, every single every single day, we're re we're seeing more and more countries getting away from this petrol dollar, getting away from the dollar, and uh, being allowed to function in the world economy without having to use the dollar. Whether they're using Bitcoin or whether they're using the yuan or whether they're using gold and silver or just straight up commodities, countries are already getting around the dollar. All right, more and more each and every day. So, guys. All I have to say is to start diversifying and get away from the dollar. You know, get out of your, um, get out of the stock market, get out of the 401ks, you know, get, a lot, get out of a lot of these things and start diversifying and buying physical gold, physical silver, you know, buying Bitcoin, investing in cryptos and so on and so forth. And uh, again, guys, the future is in your hands, okay? We really have no idea what the future of the dollar is gonna entail, meaning we don't know when the dollar is gonna fail, but we all know that the dollar is gonna fail. It's only just a matter of time. So please, don't get caught with your pants down. That's what she said. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I wanna give a big shout out to all my patrons, to every single one of you guys out there that continuously you know, helps me out with uh, you know, little donations and, uh, and helps me out with uh, contributions you know, to help feed me and Lambo and, uh, and so on and so forth. I love you guys to death, you guys are amazing. Don't forget to please follow us on Twitch, on BitTube, on, on D Live every Monday and Thursday nights. Don't forget to hang out with us on Discord, you know, every single day. Don't forget to hang out with us, you know, live on YouTube on Wednesdays. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you know every single day when I drop a video. So that way you're, again, you don't, you know, you get alerted because of the bell. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Stay awesome, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. Laters.